Hello, so I'd like to start today off by asking a quick question. Who here has heard of dark matter? Show of hands, dark matter. Look at that, everybody. We're doing good, we're doing good. So for just to reiterate, dark matter makes up about 25% of our universe, 25%. To put that in perspective, the stuff we're made out of, clothes, seats, everything we're seeing today, that's about 4% of the universe, nothing. Quarter, dark matter. Really hard to get a grasp on, try to figure out. So what I'm gonna to try to do is illuminate what dark matter is and what that means. So let me ask another question real quick. Have you ever seen the wind? Think about that. No, haven't seen the wind, but you know it's a thing. You know that you can see the wind in other ways. You see leaves running across the ground, you see a tree sway, you see clouds moving across the sky. That's wind. I can't see it with my eye, but I know that wind is there. We can do the same thing with dark matter, and that's actually how it was found, indirectly. So when we're looking at galaxies, we see these stars going around and around the center. And astronomers decide to look at that and try to figure out what exactly was going on. The interesting thing is, they calculated the speed of these stars, and looking at how fast they were going, they said, we think that there's this much mass in the middle. There should be a certain amount. And when they calculated based on all the matter we could see, looking at the stars, looking at the gas, there is nowhere near that amount. And they were baffled. I was baffled when I first heard it. I'm like, how could it be? So this proves that there's something in there that's keeping these galaxies together. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to see it. And that's how we came up with dark matter. It interacts only by gravity, and it works to keep our galaxies together, and even is the key component on how they start to form. Now, you may be wondering, well, okay, we can look at the rotation, and that will help us find these things to begin with, but how can we map where they are? How can we learn more? That's a good question. The answer to that is actually studying streams. So, dwarf galaxies fall into larger galaxies, and it's a hierarchy of things eating each other in the universe. And if you look at it, these things fall in and follow these certain orbits. And if you're able to back out the orbits and follow where they came from, you should be able to figure out what they're going around. You get a good idea of the distribution that they're traveling around. And that's how scientists and astronomers are able to map out where we think the dark matter is. What it is is still a very difficult question. There are a few theories out there. It could be this type of particle, could be a different type of particle. We're still not 100% sure on that one. We're still working on it. But it's good to know that even though we can't see this, we're able to map where it is and figure out where it's going. And hopefully, we'll be able to reason what it actually is and know more about our universe. Thank you.